Whoa, 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 what are you doing? What? You don't need to wash bread knives. What? Yeah, it's 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 a bread knife. It's just always clean. No? Yes, it, yeah, it's a bread knife. Like, okay, so if you were to cut a bagel, let's say, would you wash the knife or would you put it right back? But we didn't cut a bagel. Well, don't get on me. I'm just telling you the rules of bread knife. That's not a rule. I'm just trying to do you a favor and save you some time. Well, I think we should wash the knife. Oh, uh, sounds redundant to me. How? It's covered in blood. It's a bread knife. It's clean. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Oh, so you think we should leave the weapon that was used to cut up this I'm body? I'm saying it would save us some time. Fine. You want to leave it? It's clean. Then we'll leave it. Happy? Yep. It appears the woman's body was brutally dismembered by a bread knife of sorts. However, the knife in question has yet to be identified as forensics are unable to pull DNA off the spotless knife found at the scene. More on that story after the break.